What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Adrian. And it's your boy Chakra. And we are Last, Last Call. Call. You are listening to the best CHH artist music on the WFSC radio. See, Lord, I know, I know I'm not perfect, but my heart's for you. Imperfection doesn't change the way you feel. Doesn't change the way you Born of man Can't help that I was born into this world of sin But now I'm here and I want to live for you and only you I won't let this world change my view
and we are back. And what was the last song that you just played? Uh, yeah, the last song that I played was Center Song uh, by Last Call. Last Call. And remember, we told you when we come back, we'll be on the phone with Last Call. So I am so excited to introduce the international sensation, Last Call. <laughs> got all those welcome. My fellow kingdom builders. Welcome, welcome. Yes, glad to be here. How are you guys? I am fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much for having us this morning. I'm one half of Last Culture Cray. Unfortunately, um, Adrian couldn't make it today, but I also was on the fourth floor. So we're just excited to be talking with you all this morning. And uh, we can't wait for you. Oh, yes, definitely. I was looking forward to this interview. I was like, wow. First of all, I have to ask this question. I'm looking at one of your pictures and stuff, and I was like, they look very young. So can I ask y'all age? <laughs> sure. Um, this is Chakra. So I am 30, 31 years old, and Adrian is 28. Man, y'all carrying it very well. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, I thought <laughs> y'all were like, uh, yeah, I thought y'all were in y'all teens. I was y'all like, man, this that. is, y'all are carrying it very, y'all from, yeah. Bermuda, right? Yes, we're from the lovely island of Bermuda. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean that, I, I, that's got to be a lovely place, right? <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean, right, we do get, to, like, because we're actually not in the Caribbean Sea. Mm-hmm. We're um, in, like, the, like in the Atlantic Ocean, just by ourselves. We're on the same longitude, sorry, the same latitude as um, mm-hmm. North Carolina. So we do get it like it's getting kind of chilly here now. We don't snow or anything. Right. The weather's similar to maybe like Orlando or you know North Florida. Kind right. Of thing. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I needed to know that. I, I always like learning about new countries, new places. So thank you so much yeah. for that. I I didn't even know that. I need to go out and venture more. But I'm stuck in Tennessee right yeah, now. Yeah, come to Bermuda. <laughs> oh, that would be grand. I wouldn't even know what to do in Bermuda. Yeah, I would rest. <laughs> oh, you should be rest. <laughs> I would rest. Oh. <laughs> rest and go to yeah, church. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get started with this interview. We have a few questions we would like to ask you, and one of the questions is what, Thomas? What well, the question that we want to ask you? How did uh, you guys got started, though? Okay, so um, basically, our whole lives we've always done right, and mm-hmm. we were solo artists first. Okay. Um, and then in two thousand, I want to say two thousand sixteen. We actually came together and formed Last Call. So we're only about three years old. Wow. And um, basically, one day after an, another friend's concert, we were seeing a background for a friend. She was at a concert, her name Sheila Wood. Mm-hmm. And we would meet oftentimes after, you know, just to grab some food. Right. And one day we were talking about life and ministry and all that. And we were like, you know what? Why are we doing this separate? We should come together um, and be decided, you know, to form that culture. We prayed about it, we fasted about it, we talked to our pastors about it. Uh-huh. And at the end of the day, last call was birth. And so we've been together ever since and, you know, there's no we don't intend to, you know, stop. So wow. we're excited about it and we're excited what God has done in just a matter of three short years. Yes. You know? Yes. And yeah. why why the title Last Call? Is there something significant behind that? Yeah, good question. It is. Um, last call, was, um, what basically uh, signifies is that clarion call of the last time. And so we believe that uh, we are part of a remnant, you know, the, of believer that mm. God is pushing out to the other ends of the earth to give his last call, his last push, you mm. know, before he cracks the sky. And Come so on. it's more than just us, it's a movement. We actually call it a phrase that says we're living in the last days. Yes, this is the sure. last time. This is the last fight and we are the last call. And so uh, we found our ministry of fun, Deuteronomy 32, verse 30, which is one of us can chase a thousand, but two of us ten thousand. And so that's why the significance in us coming together is so important because we now grow exponentially, whereas one of us can chase one thousand, but when two of us get together, it grows to ten thousand. And so that's basically the premise of Last Call and the scripture reference for Last Call. Come on, kingdom building at its best. I like Amen. that. Amen. I love that. Praise God. Wow. I'm like, my spirit man is joyous right now. The revelation that you <laughs> get I, is refreshing to hear that. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Yeah, it's all God given. So we're, we're just 
we're just grateful to be stewards, right. to be a part of his call, you know, of, of the overall plan. It's not just about Adrian, it's not just about Craig, right. it's not just about this local Bermudian duo, it's about the movement. And we're just grateful that he selected us to be a part of it, that's all. Come yeah. on, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Fluent, come on, woo, yeah. come on. Okay, let me get on. I, my spirit is like jumping for joy because everybody's everybody's speaking the same thing. And when, it, like you said, when there's two or three speaking the same thing, God can move, and that's what He's doing right now. And we thank God in advance for what He's about to do in our lives and what He's. I mean, y'all look refreshing because where we're at, a lot of young people. Because we're a little, I'm a little older than you. A lot of young people don't have that revelation yet. Right. They're still trying to right, find right. something. Well, but to hear that and let you yeah. know you're speaking that and declaring it in the atmosphere and then yeah. y'all acting with your acts of worship. I'm telling you, I'm gonna reach mm-hmm. a lot of people y'all wow. already have, but I'm I just know Continue. it's gonna be even more. Yeah. Even more. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. another question I have is what are some of the hobbies that y'all do when you're not doing ministry? So I uh, H Craig, um I've gotten into a sport called Muay Thai, which is like kickboxing. Okay. So I really enjoy it. Yeah, so I oh. enjoy that. I enjoy fighting. I, I guess I guess of all the parts of the last whole scene because I enjoy fighting, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'm, um, I also, I'm also a certified scuba diver. So wow. I enjoy that as well. And then Adrian um, likes to play football, not American football, like oh. soccer. So, um, yeah, so he does that a lot on his first time. Um, and then other than that, we like to just hang out. We are best friends, too. So we like to hang out with all the friends and chill. Um, yeah. But um, we're not singing. We like to try to catch some downtime because we're oftentimes on stage or traveling or something. So right. it's always nice to just get refreshed. Right. Things like that, yeah. Scuba diving. That means you can teach me how to swim. I don't know how to swim. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not qualified. But I know. <laughs> I just when you said scuba diving, I said, "Oh Lord, I don't even know how to swim, so I can't even enjoy that sport." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to hook you up. Yeah, yeah, so y'all are very active outside of um, music ministry. Um, that is important yeah. when, especially when you're on the stage and you're giving a hundred percent. Uh, you want you don't want to yeah. lose uh, <laughs> like with me, and my sister. I've been doing several times, even before we decided to go on this health journey. We were singing. We were yeah. running out of breath. And I was like, oh, Lord, you're going to have to teach us. Yeah. Show us yeah. how to keep our bodies conditioned to be able to, yeah. to deal with the running back and forth and hopping up and down and everything else. Yeah. So it is important to be active when you're not doing music ministry. Um, of course, rest, Very true. but be active at the same time. So um, quite, quite um, scuba diving. I, I've heard just about everything, but that is an amazing because... Is on a whole nother level when you're going under something underwater it's and you see. Beautiful. There yeah. you go, there you go. God's yeah, creation. Beautiful down there. Wow, yeah. wow, honey, you want to ask yeah. a question? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm getting all uh, deep. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> okay, the next thing I had. I was, uh, what are some things that were well, besides scuba diving? <laughs> what are some things that are? Uh, well, actually, I'm not. I'm actually, yeah, what are your hobbies when you're not doing ministry? He already answered that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you should be able to ask that. He's reading off a paper. Yeah, some more time to scuba dive in the football. Yeah, that's what we like. Oh, okay. Be, uh, oh, you know, I lost yeah. track. I didn't know she asked that question already. He went but... deep with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I guess yeah. I, here's, my, here's my better question. Okay. What would you tell someone in the ministry, uh, basically, something they want to develop really quick in the music uh, ministry? You mean like someone that's that wants to do what we're doing? What like advice to them? Yes. yes. Okay. Basically, what I try to tell people is get out of the studio. Mm. And what that means is, <laughs> and it sounds crazy, but a lot of times I, I watch those that I, I watch other artists that are always in the studio, in the in the studio, in the lab, in the you know. Right. At what point do you get out and actually get on the stage? Because that's where the impact really is going to take place. Come on. And so you can be in the studio all you want, but if you if you keep everything within that I you know that vocal booth or whatever, right. it's never going to get to the airwaves. Not if it's never going to reach you guys on radio. It's never right. going to you know. And so, in order for you to be impactful and to start your career, you know, quote unquote, your ministry, better word, um, you have to get out there because um, you have to make an impact and. 
we all work together. So you, you like, so for example, you guys as radio announcers, like, you're not going to care about last call unless you've heard from some, another radio company or you've seen a YouTube video. Right. You know what I mean? Right.